Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my Rainbow Six Siege video. Today, as you've seen by our title, this is talking about the reputation system once again. However, basically saying that they are watching you right now. So guys, before we get into the video, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and a little word from our sponsor. Just to stop the video, today's video is brought to you by Surfshark. Surfshark is a virtual private network. This means that you can protect all of your data, be able to play on different servers, and go and watch any Netflix in the world. So if you're from the UK and you fancy watching American Netflix, you can do that. Plus, there is tons and tons more features out there with this. Surfshark is the best VPN and one of the cheapest VPN out there on the market right now. Click the link down below in the description and in the comment section. Use the code MZN as a coupon and you'll be able to get 85% off and three months for free. And this will only cost you £1.39 a month. For £1.39, that is an absolute bargain. So make sure you go and do it because this will just help you out so much. But apart from that, guys, let's get back into the video. But now, guys, the sponsor is done. Make sure to go and check them out. Let's get straight into this. The reputation system is going to be coming within year six or 2021, however you do want to say it. Now, this is huge because they're going to be deciding whether you can basically play the game. And if you can play the game fairly, and if you can play the game fairly, whether you're going to be getting rewards or you're just going to get no rewards because you're being a bit of both where you're not playing the game fairly and you're playing it unfairly. Now, the whole reputation system is going to be split into three ways. This is important. The first way is negative standing. This is for people who are basically ruining the game. They're being toxic. They're team killing. Things like that, which people basically get fed up within the game and they want rid of and those players just are gone. And with that, if people are going to be doing that, you are going to be getting tailored sanctions to yourself, which could last pretty much probably up to a year and messaging, basically saying you won't be able to message anyone in the game, anything like that. And this is pretty much towards like the PC environment because that's where a lot more toxic stuff does happen, especially with hacking as well. And you also be getting bans, a thing like that, that. And I think this is really, really good. Now, the question is, what actually determines what gets you banned and what actually doesn't? We'll be getting that into a minute, but let's talk about the other two levels as well. You have neutral standing, which is fair-minded and balanced gameplay, which is like just playing how you normally would. And then you've got positive standing, which you get feedbacks and rewards back where you are literally doing everything in the game properly. You're playing it how it should be without any toxicity and getting on with it and enjoying the game and making the experience for other game users so much more better. And that's what Rainbow Six Siege do want. So guys, they are the three things. They are split into different levels, which is kind of weird, but that's just how it is. Now, let's talk about how this is decided. We have two different ways of how your reputation score is calculated up. Now, this is all divided into two like things. And um, basically, the first one is action. So you have the friendly fire, the friendly gadget destruction, and intentional team kill. As we do know, those are massive things and very toxic within just pretty much Rainbow Six Siege in general. So friendly fire is obvious. Gadget destruction is obvious and intentional team kill is obvious. That is kind of hard though, the last one, to basically determine what is intentional and what isn't, to be fair. Because, like, I've had cases where I've dropped my controller, it's hit the RT button and killed a teammate. Now, is that intentional? Because it wasn't at all, I've just dropped my controller. But, and then also the case is, what happens if someone runs in front of you to shoot him? Is that class is intentional? And basically, Rainbow Six are going to be needing to be reviewing this all the time because. This is going to be something that happens massively. It's pretty much, like, I guarantee, maybe a team kill every single game. So, guys, that's the only problem when it does come to it about the team kills. Then this all goes into one actual branch called Friendly Fire. You'll be getting a numerical score, play feedback and warning, and a prevention sanction. So, like you normally do, if you kill someone, you obviously have the warning against you. And then, obviously, if you do it again, you basically get kicked and you kill yourself. But... That's that, and then that then goes into a reputation score with the other branch, and that other branch consists of reputation, communication abuse, and muted. So that's pretty obvious, like, you're going to get yourself muted if you keep right doing communication abuse, if that's through messaging or just through Teams, obviously through your microphone. Then you get the same thing again, you get a numerical score, and then you obviously get your feedback and your prevention sanction, and then afterwards, with those two things, with the friendly fire and the communication, you get a reputation score, which will then decide what level you are in, if you're a high level, if you're a low level, and that will decide what you do get. Do you get a sanction? Do you get rewards? Do you get literally nothing, and you just carry on playing the game? And that is how it is calculated. Now, the question is, what is the difference between positive behavior and negative behavior? It's pretty obvious, to be fair. It, positive behavior literally just says, play normally and commend. And then for negative behavior, you've got friendly fire, communication abuse. You'll get, obviously, your sanctions, your warnings as well, before anything does happen. And pretty much, that's kind of fair. You will get a warning to basically say, what you're doing isn't right. And then afterwards, if you carry on doing it, then you will get your banned. And then um, I think that is probably a great way from Rose Siege. But the thing is... This is going on right now. So 
if you are doing this stuff right now, I would stop if I was you, otherwise you won't be able to play the game in a few months time when this is fully released. I believe as well on people's profiles, when you click on their name to check what level or rank they are, or the TKD, whatever you want to call it, then you will be able to see this on their profile as well, which I think is really, really good. Sort of like how Xbox has, where it says like needs or like room for improvement or things like that, or like a warning about them. But in general, I do think this is really good, but I'm just more worried right now if people are still doing this and it says we are watching you right now. And this is fully meant to be released and come into like full on contact round June time. So about six months time, they're still going through our things, basically looking through right now and seeing who does need to be banned because they need to understand what's intentional, what's not intentional with team kills, etc. But overall, guys, I think this is a great way to do it. This is going to be huge. I believe this will probably be released in year six, season two, because that's round the June time ish. And then from there, every season, every few weeks, it's going to change. And I think this is great. Now, for me personally, there will probably be a few complaints, especially when people say, like, I haven't done this, I haven't done that, but I've been basically been done for it. So that's a bit annoying. But Rainbow Six Siege will obviously try to do their best to make sure everything is done intact and perfect. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. A bit of information about it. And yeah, pretty much just kind of a warning. They're watching you right now. So play the game properly. Otherwise, you won't be able to play in the future. But guys, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And I'm going to be doing a few other little gameplay backgrounds after this like speech, basically. And yeah, so enjoy that clip if you do want to carry on watching. But yeah, until next time, guys. See ya. Op 4, last operator standing. Friendly, last operator standing. Eliminated. Mission successful.